So out here on this this deck, um, first of all, it needs to be resealed. But that's not, you know, the whole house is to be powered. It needs to be resealed. But um, the wood rot is really bad here. This sure. is this okay. whole thing is. Right. If you look at it on this side, it's pretty gone. Well, yeah, I, I can I can see yeah. it's 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 clearly a, an entire rail replacement. And what I'm a little bit more concerned about is how much movement you've got yeah. in those posts. Yeah. But um, um, the posts may need also to. I mean, this one. Um, it, it, it's if you look at the bottom. I do. There's a bunch of wood goo put in the back of it, and yeah. it's gone. And on the side, <clears throat> yeah. Sure. And and it's starting to go over there too. Okay. So, um, you know. I don't know what, how much of a replacement it is, but I want it fixed. Sure, I agree. Um, how much do you use the deck? Not very much. Okay, because I don't build decks like this. Not that it's not a fine build. Yeah. But <clears throat> one of the reasons I don't build decks like this is that if you look at that post, just a great example, mm -hmm. that width is six inches of just the wood. And then it's two, probably set back two or three inches so that you're actually losing in decking surface <clears throat> eight inches. Yeah. And I put the post on the exterior sure. so that you have more deck I don't overhang a board right. because actually that's a little bit of a hazard with people stepping but um, I don't want to redo a deck yeah you don't need to redo the deck I don't need the deck to be done we really don't use but, it I mean we have a few outdoor parties here but that's sure. about it and I, I use it as a grilling deck and we use sure. it obviously this is our access to outside and that's it right. so I'm, I'm, I'm happy to, for you to replicate it the okay. way it is even though I, I get what you're saying sure. totally okay and, and the question I have is that how can I fix that railing because I, I don't know if it's just sitting down on top of those uh, of the decking boards which it's really uh, a bit of a code violation, but you know, I'm not here to apply building code. I just want you to have a good railing in case somebody should stumble. It needs to stop their fall. It probably, um, I would be surprised if it was light, if it was a violation of building code, because this was a new house, so, you know, and, it was, and it's Chapel Hill. I know. So. I see it every day. Really? Even in Chapel Hill? Especially in Chapel Hill. Really? It's it's not that it's any worse than anywhere else, but I will tell you that when you are an inspector and you're inspecting, what is this, yeah. a 3,500 square foot house? At least, yes. 43. You may miss something yeah. here and there, and decks are very prime for that. And I'm going to tell you, we're going to do the best we can to yeah. make it strong, safe, cosmetically right. attractive, right. and inexpensive. <laughs> That's what I want. Okay. Okay, so so that needs to be done, and it and then the deck sealed. Yep. And then the fine, and everything else, unless you see. I mean, again, the gutters in the back. What I notice is. Um, the second floor gutter yeah. sometimes has a cascading effect. So, I mean, not so much, I mean, in other words, not cascading, but the water is seeping. Yeah, over the gutter. Yeah, yeah. not over and yeah. on the other side of the gutter. Um, <coughs> before your house was built, what was supposed to happen is the engineers were supposed to look at the total square footage of that entire surface <laughs> with the dormer and add it all up and say you need a four, six, or eight inch gutter. You need one, two, three, or four downspouts. And obviously they said a six inch gutter with two downspouts. I'm not a big fan of having gutters vent on top of shingles. And you see you've yes, got two shingles. Do. Oh yes, we do have, definitely. Yeah. And it's, it's not good because it dramatically decreases the wear. Thank the Lord you don't have many square feet to replace because that should go first. Right. Right. But um, probably will. There's it. It also <clears throat> happens on the on the front of the house, but it's on the copper roofing. Sure, but um, that that's kind of what happens when when you you have gutters installed. And the next thing I can look at is um, your slope of it, which shouldn't matter as long as it's neutral because you got one on each side. Right. Um, and um, I'm gonna hope 
that all of the over overfill is is, <coughs> is manageable. We'll take a look at the fascia and make sure it's not affected. But it looks that's probably one of your best parts because for all practical purposes, I don't I don't see that any worse than anything else. Yeah. So Doing all right. one concern I have is underneath that gutter behind it, you've got some straw hanging down inside or that is behind your fascia. And, <coughs> and, and I'd like to figure oh. out why you have straw there because... Is that straw or is that a black mark? Uh, let's go see. <coughs> that could be, you know, a spider or a bird. Yeah, straw. <laughs> okay. Um, now that straw <laughs> is coming out of your soffit. And to me that begs the question. Did you if you can go get some water or something, it's fine. If you need to, but uh, it begs the question: Why is there straw inside your soffit? And I'm guessing the answer might be something's built a house in there. <coughs> what? Something has built a home, a, a, a squirrel, a bird. How I'm else? Shy. Trying to figure out why. Why would you have? Why would you have straw hanging out that corner of your soffit? I don't know. That's right above our bedroom. <coughs> Do you ever hear anything? I hear birds, but yeah, I don't hear anything. I believe okay. me, I've had. Yeah. You know, not in this house. I've had squirrels yeah, in sure. the attic, so I remember when they're, you know. Yeah. And I've had a duck in my fireplace. <clears throat> not here. Oh wow! Where was that? Oh God! That was, Ducks? <laughs> it was it was in Maryland. It yeah. Was in okay. Chevy Chase, Maryland. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I heard all this stopping in my fireplace. Somebody had put. How about that? You know. Yeah. So. Um, and uh, now that I get closer, mm -hmm. um, you see the column on your porch. How dark it is. Yes. And I would make the suggestion that um, when we clean it, you're probably going to have a need to get a coat of paint on that one because it looks like you've got a good area of paint and then nothing. Right. And this is starting to actually crack. Yeah. Well, that's why, that's why I said I think once we power wash, we're going to see areas where, it needs, where the trim needs touching up or painting. Okay, that deck, we're, uh, we, can go, we need to go inside that deck, actually, because that's sure. my, that's the final area. So sure. So One yes, of I think that the, once it's power washed, they mm -hmm. will, we will identify areas that need to be touched up on the white trim. Mm -hmm. I am holding off on painting the house overall. It's hard to paint. It, you know, it's, I don't need to paint it for a few years, I hope. I don't mind if it fades a little bit. Um, <coughs> I would be in agreement. Uh, the only thing that I see pretty much house wide that, that we're going to look when we finish the cleaning would be the trim. Yeah, right. And I will tell you, Sherwin Williams has got some paint out now that offers you a lifetime warranty, and I'm not sure I believe it. Lifetime is a long time. Yeah, really. If, if you have, for example, a young couple paint the house and in their 20s and they expect to keep it until they retire, yeah. but uh, I would think. And the house is eight years old. Yeah, um, I don't. I don't really. I mean, this side is is this nice looking, a pristine end cap that I have ever seen. Um, you mean flake and paint here? Yes, there's a little bit of flaking, and also up on the one upstairs. Okay. There's some flaking paint. Yeah, which that's further <laughs> reinforcing our. And yeah. if you look at the trim here, and and there's trim. But, yeah. um, and on this side, your fascia, which faces out, yeah. and your soffit, which faces down, and your edge trap, which faces out, they look fine. I mean, maybe that little triangle end cap, but, but on this side, the only thing that I would think about would be your window trim okay. only. Okay. Well, be one side just yeah. Um, I really haven't thought about the other side of the house at all, so I don't know if we should go there or not. <laughs> Let's take a peek while we're here if you want. Okay, all right. 
it won't take but a second it, and it's a little problematic that side yeah because it's the sunshine yeah it's really not you know mm -hmm. you just all are you from maryland uh no i'm originally from um New England. okay but we lived in washington dc for a long time yeah my uh brother-in-law grew up on the uh, Chesapeake Bay. Oh wow, where, where about? Oh gosh, I don't remember. It's been so long since I've been to his his place of birth and raising. Um, we had a summer house. I'm not a summer house. We had a house yeah. on the Chesapeake Bay. His mother was a school teacher for like 65 years and taught math and his father went into the city in DC to work every day for umpteen hundred years almost, but they were really nice people. Um, but you know, it's a little bit of mold here is all I see on both of the surfaces. Um, it's yeah, it's pretty, I, I, I just had the trees cut back here because they were in yeah. the house. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I would, uh, if I had to offer a suggestion, the one thing I think about is removing the elm. And the reason I say that is even though you have had them cut back, if you look right at the gutter, uh, the shingle line, and what happens in that point is that the limbs move in the wind. I know, I know. They I continuously know. rub. I know, I know. And, I know. and it's a beautiful tree. I'd hate to lose it, but, um, and it's also leaning back that way slightly. But it's a young elm. I don't predict a, a failure I mean, it falling and hurting the house, but the limbs is going to be long-term perpetual maintenance and damage. Yeah. But like I said, I'm here to offer suggestions, yeah, yeah. and that's all I do. Um, <laughs> your, your scuttle door is, you know, the brown is mold, and uh, I'm gonna take a quick peek inside. Primarily, the reason I look if I can get in. I yeah, don't, no, I, you can't. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I've become a. I know. You know like, how to do it? You know, it's the win, from winter months. It's sort of. Um, it expands and contracts. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm just. Um, yeah. We have this oh wow. Here. Nice cross face. Yeah. But uh. It's the only way to turn on the light. The yeah. thing doesn't work anymore. Well, you know, this doesn't get a lot of people. Yeah. And and when I have a chance to just step in and take a peek, because sometimes I walk in these things and there's a pipe that burst and there's an active leak. Oh, listen, you know what I've had here? Huh? <coughs> I've had our main pipe yeah. come apart yeah. and water yeah. gushing here. Yeah. And yeah. the only reason we knew it yeah. was because we didn't have any water in the house. Right. I mean, it was a major problem, but we learned that our French drains work really well because yeah. it dried out without getting a... Uh, remediation yeah things are pretty okay to, but uh, there's there's no condensation at all and uh, it looks dry it looks sound yeah fairly considering the slope it's amazing um if you're in here I'm going to turn this one off because you can only yeah well I just uh it's like I said it feels like a disservice to our customers if we don't look when we yeah. can. Yeah, especially when I want to bundle a whole bunch of Just stuff Just for together. a minute, you know, and that's all. But, a you quick, know, people do have to come in here because the yeah. heating is here. A and, quick minute, yeah. And, and we did have, it was it was only about a year ago that we had the pipe first, so sure. we've, had our, we've had our issues. Okay. Okay, we need to go into the screen porch. Okay. Too. But I think things are in 